Hello, hello. I'm mixing some flour with yeast, salt, and water. Actually, I made a light tea so it will taste better. Here is everything. Usually we should measure the quantities, but I use my eye to measure. It's a good balance. As you can see, it's all together here. And I'm going to mix it nicely. So I have my mixing board. I put some flour. Here is my dough. And now I'm going to knit it. You will Knitting see. the dough. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful job. A little bit like Tai Chi. I will use some flour on my hands not to get sticky. You see when I knit it here on the flour, if the dough is too wet, it will get, it will suck in some flour, so the, the composition will be balanced at the end. So now I'm going to knit it, see, one hand and the other. See, it's a little bit yet wet and sticky, so I have to add some flour. It's a wonderful feeling, like Thai massage. <laughs> Without knitting the, uh, the dough, they won't be a good bread. And manual knitting is the best. Here is my tray, baking tray. I put some aluminum paper and I spread some flour. Now here is my dough. And uh, now, today, I'm going to make some little bread. See? This will be like a cylinder kind of shape. I never use white flour. Always uh, whole wheat or some other mix of grains. White flour has too much sugar, too little nutrients. I know everything now it's white because it tastes good because of the sugar, but it's not necessarily healthy. So my little bread, you see the beautiful part of the dough is that we can make anything we like, you see, any shape. Any shape we want, we can give to the dough. See? That's the, the bread has path. Now I set the oven to 385. And next I'm going to put the bread into the oven. Voila, here is my today bread. Just took it out from the oven, I'm going to let it cool and then enjoy it. 